today to join together Jason Niedenberger and Miriam Welsh in Holy Matrimony. I would like to thank all of you for coming. And I would especially like to acknowledge and recognize Miriam's uncle, Jurgen, his girlfriend, Katja, and their daughter, Victoria, who traveled all the way from Germany to be with here today. Miriam and Jason first met in Richmond in August 2008. Miriam was attending graduate school at Virginia Commonwealth University, while Jason, a graduate of Barton College in North Carolina, was working as district sales manager of wholesale Miller and playing in a local band. Miriam's best friend, Leela, took Miriam to see her husband's band play in Yorktown. And that's where Jason first caught Miriam's eye. After the concert, Jason left his friends to ride back to Richmond with Miriam, and actually just to sit next to Miriam. They soon came to share their love of music, dogs, and spending time on the St. James River. Their relationship stayed strong, even as Miriam took her first job as an occupational therapist in Charlottesville. After gaining work experience, she was able to relocate back to Richmond, where she currently works for Sheltering Arms Physical Rehabilitation. Their relationship also survived vacationing with extended families. <laughs> Jason fit right in with the Welsh clan in Venice, Florida, and Mary had a wonderful time with the Niedenbergers in Nagshead, North Carolina. Jason asked Miriam's dad, Jack, for his daughter's hand in marriage while they were both waiting in line for free beer at the <laughs> University of Chicago <laughs> homecoming day. <laughs> of course, Jack said yes to someone who had traveled to Chicago for free beer. <laughs> <laughs> Miriam and Jason are two young people deeply in love who are creating a future for themselves while enjoying all that life has to offer. We certainly wish them a long and happy life together. And now, Ali Hogan will read a passage from the scriptures. First, first Corinthians 13, 1-8. If I speak in the tongues of men or angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding God or a clanging symbol. If I have gifts of prophecy, and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor, and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails.
Vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. 